coverage of the FIA Formula One World Championship is presented by Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. Brought to you in part by Mercedes-Benz, engineering some of the most advanced vehicles on the road today. Back at Interlagos, the final race of our tenure of Formula One on speed is now complete. The Grand Prix of Brazil, presented by Royal Purple. I did. You're right, Bob. It's absolutely incredible, really. 290 races has been absolutely fabulous. I've enjoyed every minute of it. And as I say, what a wonderful team speed has been. And it's so sad to see them breaking up now and not doing the races anymore. Well, all things change, and now it's time for us to change as well. And I'd just like to say, David, it's been a great ride. Steve, thanks to you. We'll call Will Buxton home. We'll chat with him. Look for the final edition of Formula One Debrief coming up next weekend. It's been a great ride. And now I'd like to take a small moment to say a few words. It's a moment that I really hoped would never come. Next year, as David mentioned, Formula One moves to a new broadcast home here in the USA, ending Speed's 17-year run, as you know. It also ends a long partnership with my fellow announcers, David, Steve, and Will, who will follow Formula One to its new network while I continue my career here at Speed. My thanks to all of you out there for all the kind words on social media, recalling all of the race weekends around the world we've shared in the last decade and a half or so. The future for Grand Prix racing here in America, I think, looks bright with a great new event in Austin, Texas, and a second plan for New Jersey in 2014. Like you, I'll be watching. We'll leave you today with a look back at the past 17 seasons. It's been a great ride. And now, for the final time, for David Hobbs, Steve Batchett, Will Buxton, Sam Posey, and all who've worked on our Speed Formula One team, I'm Bob Varsha. So long, everyone. I'm Sam Posey, and with me is David Hobbs, and the two of us would like to welcome you to the debut of Formula One on Speed Vision. I'm Bob Varsha, and let me start by saying how proud all of us at Speed Vision are to be bringing you this historic race. Joining me once again, as he did for yesterday's live coverage of qualifying, former Benetton Grand Prix mechanic turned journalist and author, Steve Matchett. Bob, thanks very much for inviting me back. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is Bob Derrick, so we interview him. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed to meet you, Bob. And like David Hobbs on a Saturday night, the event is subject to blackout. McLaren don't share the same problems that Williams and Ferrari have had to some extent. That is Simone, his girlfriend. If she played a card right, she could be my girlfriend. Hello, I'm Derek Daly. She said if I cozied up to her, she would talk to me. And she looks lovely, very Formula One. Amy Ryan didn't have bad luck, he wouldn't have any luck at all. I mean, it is uncanny, the stuff that goes wrong with this man's cars. Yes, Raikkonen telling all the boys on the boat, Exactly what happened. He's not a hero. Welcome back to David Hobbs' used car lot. He looks a bit like my cat does when I give it a big hat like that. Extreme psychological problems, but look at that. The British Marshal's doing a terrific job. Let me alone. I don't want to do I'm in America, baby. Oh, everywhere. That's right. Destroys most of the field here. Nobody's going to stop him. Look at this. What? Oh. He takes it. Oh, come on. Oh. He is the ball. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and the checker's out. Now, who is that going to block? Who's blown up? It's a Ferrari. The Ferrari, the Ferrari is Ferrari. stopping. Wheel to wheel. Yes. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, oh, huge wow. crash. Kubica. Oh. Him, boys, you've got that Lewis is right behind. You don't think Alonso's playing mind games with Hamilton here, do you? Oh, oh, oh round, round, keep going. Oh, oh he's, he's stuck. Beached it. He's stuck. He's beached it. You can't do that. Oh, you can, you can, can this be happening? It's over, boys. It's over. Oh. There it is. Oh, there it is. That's a bit brazen. Oh, oh got to that's Hamilton. Oh, Hamilton sideways. Oh. And Roman Grosjean and Fernando Alonso. I'm beginning to think that that's the official anthem for Formula One racing. It's about to be linked with Ferrari for always in the record books. It's Michael Schumacher wins. And it's Damon Hill's moment here 
at long last. Because here he comes, says he's the battle for the half contacted. He is the 1997 Formula One World Champion. Finland has another world champion. The first from his nation to drive for Ferrari, and now he picks up that long-awaited first career win. 41st victory, which puts you equal second all-time with Ayrton Senna. Do those records mean a lot to you? Yes, it does mean a lot to me. But Michael Schumacher in the Ferrari as the flags wave and the crowd cheers will win the U.S. Grand Prix at Indianapolis. Schumacher will win the race and with it the World Championship for Ferrari, the first since Jody Schechter in 1979. Kimi Raikkonen in Malaysia has been a class of his own. Fernando Alonso, he'll take the checkered flag to become the youngest Formula One winner in history. Six cars and six cars only will take the start of the sixth United States Grand Prix at Indianapolis. What a fuck. It's all about Fernando Alonso Diaz of Spain, who comes through to become Spain's first ever Formula One world champion. His 90th career win and perhaps his final one at Monza for Ferrari. I've decided together with the team that I'm uh, going to retire from, from racing. Victory for the first time in his career to Lewis Hamilton of McLaren Mercedes. In the most improbable of ways, Kimi Raikkonen of Finland will win the 2007 Formula One Championship for Ferrari. And now a new page is written as 21-year-old Sebastian Vettel wins his first Formula One victory and the first for his team. Felipe Massa has done everything he needed to do to win the World Championship, but it's not over yet. That's Timo Glock. That's Timo Glock. Wow, he's out. And he will come from behind to claim the world title. The racing gods are just playing with us. The youngest world champion in history and Abu Dhabi Grand Prix winner Sebastian Vettel of Red Bull Racing. Think of Formula One as a merry-go-round, a sort of carousel. 17 years ago, it stopped for us to climb aboard. We had no idea then how long our ride was going to be. But as the years went by, we began to hope it might never end. Well, now it has, and it's time to say goodbye. Many fans shared the ride with us. Our thanks to each of you for coming along. We had a lot of fun together, don't you think?